Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the most common laptop hardware related problem. In 90% cases it's that graphic chip. Without special equipment like infrared rework station it's almost impossible to replace the chip and repair it quite pricey. Anyways, I have an easy solution for free. You don't need any special tools, at least proper screwdriver to disassemble your laptop. If you have a soldering iron, then you can fix it in more professional way. So, this method will work for you only if your laptop has switchable graphics between discrete graphic chip and graphics inside CPU. If you're not sure, just check the specs of your laptop. For example, this motherboard from HP G6 has dedicated Radeon 6470 graphics and integrated graphics built into the CPU. This is second generation Intel Core i5 with Intel HD Graphics 3000, which works all the time while not gaming. If you cut the power to that graphic chip, the bias of your motherboard will Think that there is only integrated graphics. It will pass checking and your laptop will work like nothing ever happened. Even more, it will become more reliable because Intel's chipsets and CPUs will last much longer than AMD or Nvidia chips. Let's start. I'll show you what's going on with this laptop and then we'll fix it. It turns on, black screen, and as you see, caps lock LED blinks five times, which means general motherboard failure. But you already know what caused this failure. Now let's fix it. Oh, I forgot to mention, different laptop manufacturers have their own error codes like number of beeps or different LED indication. Just Google it. All laptops have quite similar schematics, especially voltage regulation circuit, and all you need to know just recognize and remove one component from the circuit. You will find some coil spread on the motherboard, usually near the memory sockets and around the CPU socket these for CPU power and these for integrated graphics and one near the GPU, which is our target. These coils are very important in providing the right voltage to these components and if you remove the right coil, your dead GPU will be eliminated from the circuit. If you don't have a soldering iron, you can very gently, don't make it worse, cut the coil terminals and you will get the same result. This chip won't produce heat anymore. Your battery will last longer. I think we did a great fucking upgrade. Let's assemble and test it. Hope you'll get the same result and save your money. Well, there is no Radeon graphics anymore. Feel free to ask any questions. Good luck.